So I was talking to Sterling during the Under Pressure Festival about how people could get into graffiti if they want to try it out, but want to skip the running around at night side of things. Spray painting is super fun, very fulfilling, 10 out of 10, highly recommended, A+, plus. good use of a weekend, good for you, you should do it. Well I want to, but how? The good news is that unlike a couple of decades ago, there's now plenty of options for someone wanting to try out graffiti. Guess that's the upside of the mainstreamification of things, you know. That kind of sucks for people who liked it being in the shadows and in the dark, but now you can start off in a far more socially acceptable, grandma approved, everyone's happy, apart from the people who are really into it, um, world. So here is my recommendation for someone starting out. You've just watched Exit Through the Gift Shop and you're like, super cool, but I don't want to break the law. That's illegal. So I'm here at the uh, Mer Legal, Legal Wall. There's quite a few around town. A couple of years after I moved to Montreal, there was a friend of mine who, who noticed I was painting and was like, why not take that pussy painting that you were doing on, on some canvas and put it on a wall? And it kind of opened my eyes to a whole, a whole thing, you know? <laughs> okay. Hi. Let's book up, thank you. Uh, There's actually six legal walls in Montreal to choose from where you can basically paint stuff without being hassled by anyone. It's totally legal and totally fine. Then you can hang out and have a beer if it makes you feel a little more confident. Why not support the mural fest with a Belgian moon? As a city councillor, Sterling did not endorse this, but um, social anxiety sure does. Legal walls in town are honestly a great way to spend the day. Whatever you do will get painted over within a few days. So it's very much just about trying something out and then, you know, kind of like mastering the skill. It's perfect if you don't really want it to last. Sterling had an idea though, which I recommend you graduate to if you really enjoy your day at the legal wall. So I'll call this the um, allowed wall. So where you live, your community, place where you go all the time, you buy stuff, you walk in, you know the person who works there, you go in and you ask them, you say, you know what, the side of your building is constantly being vandalized or you're spending money to clean it, the city's cleaning it. Um, I'd like to do a mural on the side of the building, or I'd like to do some artwork. Is it possible to get permission to do something on the side of the building? You may get a no, but the fact is you asked, and then you go ask somebody else. The city cleans for free anyway, so the thing is, there's no reason for an owner to give you the wall if they don't want to. So the problem with a legal wall is it creates a sense of entitlement. What's interesting about having to go somewhere and ask permission is it actually helps develop entrepreneurship. The majority of, of, of writers who you see painting prolifically are entrepreneurs. They have no problem going and they know how to ask somebody, they know how to deal with it because they've done it. You want them to be financially independent, you want them to be creative, you want them to start their own agencies, you do things. So we did that in the 90s when we were bombing and tagging, we started painting walls. It started with us painting walls, then painting contracts for movie sets or for local people who would offer us stuff, paying for our equipment, paying for our paint, then paying us money. We reinvested that money, started our design firms, started doing design work for other things, this and that, and we evolved and the festival started and all. All of this stuff, we published a magazine for 10 years, like all of this stuff was entrepreneurship. So Sterling's advice is totally rational and definitely required if you want to have a career doing this sort of stuff. During these videos, I've been standing in front of a wall that I actually painted myself a few years ago. I basically did what Sterling advised. I talked to the person who owned this wall, or he probably doesn't actually own the wall, but whatever. <laughs> So this wall used to be a concrete, ugly wall that no one really liked. So the owner was planning on planting a bunch of vines in front of it to cover it up. So I said, well, you know, just before you do that, why don't I have a god that I can paint a robot or something like that on it? And he said, sure. And you could tell he was a little bit like nervous, like, uh, it might be ugly, I might not like it. But I'd say given that uh, the vines did not get planted, uh, he's okay with what ended up happening. I still suck at graffiti, but when painting this wall, I learned more and advanced more than anything else that I ever did. If you're painting something that's going on a business or going on a friend's house or something like that, you're really gonna push yourself to do something that you're gonna be proud of, especially if it's gonna be sticking around for a few years. So that's why below this video, there's a link. If you're a person who's wanting to do a few reps, you're not at a professional level, but you need to get a bit more practice and you can fill in some basic details and you'll get your name put onto a list. There's also another link for if you're a person who owns a wall that is far too blank and boring for a Montreal winter, you can also fill out a form saying that you have a wall 
and you're open to letting someone learn and practice and try out something on it. What I'll be doing in the spring is sending out an email to all the people who own walls with all the graffiti artists who said that they'd be willing and interested in painting a wall and practicing their graffiti. The rest is up to you. You still need a bit of hustle, but this will make it maybe just a little bit easier. It's like, uh, it's like online dating for uh, people with walls and people with paint. We'll see how it goes, but uh, if it goes well, I'll commit to renewing this each year as a thing that we do. So I think I've talked about graffiti enough for a while, or is it street art? Woo! This video, like most videos that I do, was voted on by Patreon people. So jump over there if you'd like to suggest topics or uh, influence my creativity. This month I'll be giving away a few of my original pieces so uh, you know you can see the stuff that I make uh, when I'm not making videos about walls. So you go to a you go to a dairy or like what? Wait, de <laughs> Sorry, that was a random New Zealand. Tongue. That, <laughs> that was, a, that was I, a very New Zealand. Honestly, look I've never. A dairy. Uh, I like yeah, that. That's the first time in years. <laughs> I like that yeah, though. We're like going to be talking about the skip. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um,